In this video, we'll learn about simple algebraic notation. In algebra, you're going to work a lot with letters, not just the numbers. So what are the letters? The letters are like containers because they can take a range of values. So you can imagine that container, which can be a letter A, B, C, X typically as well. That will have a number of values typically. Sometimes just one, but often it will have more than one. And that's why we put a letter because it can be a number of values again, as I said. So I'm going to buy in the shop two items. Now, I haven't told you what items I'm going to buy. And I haven't told you the cost. So if I go in the shop and buy two chocolate bars, the price of each bar is 50 pence. So the total cost will be one pound. If I say to you, I'm going to go and buy two items again, this time around two other items. And how much I'm going to pay for those will really depend on the price of the items that I'm buying. This time around, I'm buying something else. I'm buying two pairs of trousers, £17 each. So the total cost will now be £34. So I hope this gives you an idea of what the letter normally means. Now we'll look at how we can work this out together. So if we have something like 2 times A equals 34, through this we should be able to work out the value of A, which can only be 17 because only 2 times 17 gives us 34. But that's another skull. At this moment, what I want to focus on is that when you've got letters and the numbers and you want to say, for example, 2 times A, you don't need the times operation. You can just say 2A equals 34. Or if you've got three lots of A, you can just write 3A. Or four lots of B, just four B will be enough. 7X. 9y, 11d. And notice how we've got digit, the number in front of the letter, never the other way around. So 3a, 4b, 7x, 9y. If we're dealing with two letters, such as a and b, again, we're going to write that as a, b. So no multiplication operation in the middle. It would get too confusing if it was like this, because that could be taken as an x as well. If we've got x times y, we write it as x, y. C, D. So the letter that comes first in the alphabet will be the first one. So A comes before B in the alphabet, so we put A first. X comes before Y, so we put X first. C comes before D, so we put C first. So if I go to the shop and buy one banana and I buy another banana, another banana. The short way to write this will be 3b. Same thing if I go and buy apples, one apple, two, three 
four apples, then one, two, three, four, four, A. Or I'll buy two other items, which I don't know what they are, and I'm denoting it with X. So X and X makes 2X. So this number in front is telling us how many of these. Similarly, if I have a square, and this is the length of it, to get the area, I'm going to do length times the length, which can be times width as well. But because they are the same, I'm just going to denote them both with L. So L times L. And the short form of that is going to be just L squared. Again, we avoid putting the multiplication operation in there because of the confusion. But we can't just write LL. We write L squared. So A times A will be A squared. B times B will be B squared. X times X will be X squared. This is not to be confused with B add B. That just two lots, so that would be 2B. This is B multiplied by itself. And if we've got division, there is a short form as well. And I bet you know this already. So if I have A divided by B, we should write that as A over B as a fraction. X divided by Y, X over Y. N divided by M, N over M. So we keep the order put in this number at the top and this one at the bottom. Also, when it comes to a fraction of something, I've eaten half an apple. So apple denoted with A, I'm going to write one half of A, not 0 0.5 A. So we use the fraction in front of the letter quarter B, one eighth of X, two thirds of Y. And the final thing is brackets. So I'm making some food packs for us to take with us for a picnic. So I'm putting in the pack an apple and a banana. And I'll make four packs because it's four of us. So what this means, the number in front of the brackets means multiplication. So four lots of A plus B. So four packs with an apple and a banana in each pack. Also, if you have letters in front, it still means multiplication. But we don't need to put the operation when it comes to multiplication. We need it for division, we need it for addition, subtraction, but not for multiplication. So I'll do eight times X plus Y. I could have it after as well. So I could do N plus M times six, but it normally comes in front. However, even when it's after, it means multiplication. Before or after the bracket means multiplication. I could have a letter, as I said earlier as well. So
and lots of A plus B. Or X lots of N plus M. X lots of X plus Y. We'll eventually have a look at what all of these mean. However, at this point, all you need to remember are these rules that I've just gone through.